the immortal John Hancock here, and today I thought I'd talk about the current game news that's bugging me. I had kind of a tough day at work and thought I'd come here and, and kind of talk about some things that have been on my mind. First and foremost, so here we go. Uh, let's talk about the Atari box. Gosh, what a disappointment. You know, I just got the news that Atari is uh, announcing that they're going to do an Indiegogo for their, for their console. And <laughs> they're going to try pricing it at $250 to $300. And I'm just like... You lost me. You lost me. I'm, I'm not interested. Like, I don't want a Steam box that costs that much. Like, I don't know. They, they think their brand's special or something. I just, it's not. Not at that price. I mean, at that price, you can get a Switch, an Xbox One, a PS4, something that has better games and better game recognition. recognition. And so it says it's going to possibly play uh, Steam games or PC games. I, you know, at this point, I don't know if I care. Like, I just, I think it's going to be a disaster. And so, it, that really disappoints me. Um, it's really probably the number one thing that's, like, bugging me. Uh, and they announced that, and they think that people are going to care. Well, I mean, the, the number one thing for me, as some of you have seen on my previous video, is Indiegogo is something I don't, I, I won't support. I won't support it whatsoever. Uh, because it, you don't have to have a prototype to ask for people's money when you're doing a campaign like that. And I'm just not going to support anything on Indiegogo ever again. That ever. And so when they announced that they're going to do Indiegogo, I'm like, nope, nope. It's, you know, I did the Retro Engine Sigma. I was stupid for doing that. And, uh, you know, not again. So anyways, long rant. I'm not down with the Atari box. I think it's a stupid idea. And, you know, for me, and me, Atari is mostly dead anyways. And it's going to be have, have to be one heck of a device. But even, you, I'm not going to support it on Indiegogo. And encourage people not to. Because I think it's going to be a train wreck. And I'm sorry. I just, I feel really passionate about it. You know, spend your money and get something that's actually commercially released. <laughs> and go from there. I just, I haven't been really impressed with, with a lot of... Kickstarter campaigns. I mean, I've supported a couple of the like the smaller homebrew projects. That that's one thing. Or like a PS4 game, like a, you know, like an indie PS4 game, like uh, um, I think like Battle Princess is a good example, or or Bloodstain. But but for every one game that's great, there's four that are a train wreck, and so it's just tough. Anyways, long ramble. All right, Nintendo Switch Arcade Classics got announced, and I was super excited. I'm like, yes. And then they announced the price, and it was like $7.99. And like, you really think about that? Like, this should be cheaper than that. You know, and for some people, are like, oh, $7.99? Oh, that's, that's a great price. I'll do that. You know, and I get that they're arcade classics, but I just don't think those arcade classics, which, you know, should be, should be priced at that. And I'm going to speak with my wallet. I'm not going to get them. So, I mean, already people are talking online about the high price of those. And, you know... Yeah, it's it's less than you know a bad meal, but I, I'm sorry, seven ninety nine is too much. It should be five bucks, and uh, I'm speaking with my wallet. I'm not getting them. It, it's just kind of a thing, you know. Digital these these digital downloads and these kind game companies, you know, especially console companies, think that you know they can charge the same price as a, a as a physical download, and even just getting it aside from. Nintendo Switch Arcade Classic. Some of these companies are trying to trying to charge, you know, 40, 50 bucks for a digital download uh, of a game. That's the stupidest thing I could ever think of, and I will never ever buy it. And encourage other people to do so as well. And so it just it just blows my mind that people think that that's a that's a decent price or reasonable price for a digital download. Nope, no, it's not. I'm never gonna pay it. So I just uh, speak with your wallet, you know. Speak with your wallet, and it and the companies will get will get the hint. So, all right. Any news about what console is better bugs me, and this happens all the time. It's like the sales number of the Switch come out, and then you know they'll say, "Oh my gosh, you know this the Switch is doing great. It's going to blow away its competition," and then and then people will start talking about. 
oh, the Switch is this and better than that, and PS4 is better than this and that. You know, the truth of the matter is, all the consoles have problems, and and you know what, you can you can get on your pedestal and 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 slash someone else's why they don't you know why they should get something, and it's just it's just all garbage. It really is. It just is. It just bugs me. It bugs me. People get on their high horse and say why one thing's better or not, and it's the truth is it doesn't really matter whatsoever. If you like a game console because of the games on it, get it. But when you start telling other people why it's better, it, it's better for you. <laughs> I mean, I mean it is. You know, if you don't like playing The Legend of Zelda, someone telling you why you should play The Legend of Zelda is not going to change your mind. I mean, it's just that's the truth of the matter. You know, and I, you know, I, I for one can admit uh, a good example: Nintendo Switch. You know, I still have concerns long term about it. It is selling better. Uh, when we get to that year mark, then I'm going to look at my my concerns and see if they've been addressed. And so uh, that's a that's being objective. Okay, it's people that like get mad that other people have you know opinions about something or start trashing someone else's liking of a console. And and then news companies they they take this and they run with it. And so again, it's just it's kind of all garbage. You know, uh, the bottom line is that there's amazing games for whatever you're into whether it's steam switch ds ps4 xbox I, they all have great options heck even vita has got a robust library uh thanks to limited run games even though that's not my thing uh, i think it's cool that you know that the aging console is still coming out with some games so very cool that you know ps4 is going to dominate it's like gosh you know it it really just it doesn't really matter. It really shouldn't. You know, I've been collecting video games for 25 plus years. And I don't count, by the way, the only reason I count when I'm collecting games 25 years, I'm 41. So do the math, okay? I didn't start collecting video games when I was five or six. I was playing video games. I didn't know what collecting was. You know, I was playing my video games. I wasn't going out and collecting stuff. And so that's another thing that bugs me, but that's another ramble. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the big one, and that's the SNES Super Nintendo Classic. And there's going to be all this talk about it. The news is going to totally focus on the SNES Classic. And all these other companies are going to try to make a retro product that's like the SNES Classic. Here's, here's a news flash for you. There's only going to be one Super Nintendo Classic. And, and uh, Super Nintendo Classic Mini, whatever you want to call it. And... That's going to sell well. Hopefully they'll make enough, crossing fingers. And everybody else is going to try to jump in. And I'm sorry, it, it's not the same. You know, you can't compare, like, even an Atari flashback to the Super Nintendo Classic. It's just, it's, it's apples and oranges, okay? I'm a huge Atari fan. I, I love what At Games is doing, and I support their stuff. And I'm going to be, uh, hopefully, doing a review of the upcoming... Uh, upgrade to their Sega Genesis flashback. But the truth of the matter is this holiday season there's going to be one retro console that the majority of the population is going to talk about and that's the Super Nintendo Classic. And it's going to be everywhere hopefully and it'll sell great but there's other stuff out there and it's you know a lot of companies are going to be chasing that wanting that piece of that and it's it, hopefully it works for them, but I just, I, I, I don't think so. So here's another thing. All right. So with that being said, I know everybody's going to love their Super Nintendo Classic. Here's another thing that annoys me. There's not enough game companies or retro products out there making classic consoles with a cartridge slot. Okay. It bugs me. It bugs me. And I'm looking at you, Retron 77. I know it's going to come out. I know it's eventually going to come out, and if not, then other companies. There's got to be other companies out there to make an Atari 2600 with a with a cartridge slot. Please, like, I mean, oh my gosh, bugs me. So I know this is kind of a long game rant, and it's just about news and opinions and stuff. But there's just some things that bug me, and it's just, uh, you know, I've been collecting a long time, and you know, I love my original 2600. And I love the flashbacks that come out every year to a certain degree, but it doesn't replace my original 2600. 
And you know, there's five bazillion Nintendo clones out on the market. Half of them are terrible. The other half are okay. And a small portion of them are ones I recommend, like the AVS. Recommend that. But it's it's uh, above everything else. But it really bugs me that you know there's tons of these products on the market and there's not a single one that plays 2600 cartridges. And so it's that, that bugs me. That bugs me a lot. So hopefully, hopefully the Retron 77 comes out. If not, maybe another company can can make something. But that, those are my rants. Those are my game news rants, game rants. And it, it, there's just some things that bug me. And so what bugs you? What bugs you in the news? Is there something out there that really annoys you? Um, I would love to hear from it. And, you know, again, I just want to say that, uh, you know, I am a very, typically a very positive person. But there's just some things, some video game news that, that, that's bugging me. And so I had to talk about it. And again, I do it in a way that's PG, always, always family friendly. But uh, I, I wonder what's out there that bugs you. Uh, comment below and again thank you for everybody tuning in to my channel uh, for people many out there have been following me since the beginning thank you and uh, I have many more things to to talk about in a showcase I just uh, today I just wanted to rant you know it was one of those days I'm very honest on camera uh, I had a tough day at work I had a tough day and uh, it just feels better this is good for me this is like my therapy <laughs> Well, tune in. I'm still doing three videos a week. One on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Typically, I upload, and I'm changing the upload time to 6 o'clock in the morning, Pacific Daylight Time. And so, I'm doing that for many reasons. I'm doing that just because of uh, how early I'm getting up for school now. And uh, I look forward to just doing many more videos. And so, um, until next time, this is the Immortal John Hancock. Oh, yeah! Also, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out so much. I also have a Patreon in which for as little as a dollar a month, you can get an exclusive video. And I try to upload different things and, and, and give some updates about my game room. It helps me out so much. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Take care.